Hello friends, welcome back to the art room with Mr. Eck. Our learning goal today is to study an illustrator, that's somebody who makes pictures for a story, who focuses on color and shape. And then we're going to make an artwork that is inspired by that illustrator. So our illustrator today is um, Diane Alber, the writer and illustrator of Snippets, a story about paper shapes. And we are not going to take the time to read this whole book right now, uh, largely for copyright reasons. But I do want to share the artwork with you, which is very fun. Lots of shapes and colors. This is a perfect book for our goal this week. And um, I'm just going to tell you the basics of the story, and then we're going to make some artwork based on it. And so the story is about a, a world of shapes where um, all the shapes are expected to be exactly squares or triangles. And then they come together to make exactly similar shaped houses and any papers that do not fit that mold any papers that are not exactly triangles or or uh, squares are not welcome and then this guy comes along this his name is snippet and he is kind of a random shape and the other shapes are like oh what do we do with you you don't fit our our house plan and so they tell him that he can't hang out with them because he's different and that he has to go hang out with these snippets over here because they're all kinds of weird shapes and he's like, uh, well, that's weird, but okay. So he goes over to hang out with the snips, and he finds out that they are super fun because they're all different. There are different colors, they're different shapes, and look how much fun they're having. And he's like, you know what? I think I belong here. This is great. But then he starts thinking about those other shapes, the triangles and squares. And he thinks that it's actually kind of sad that um, they, are, they live this boring life where they just everything just fits just right. And they're afraid to try anything new and they're afraid of anything that's different and so he comes over and tries to show them how much fun they can have if they all play together and uh you know the square is like you you get out of here you don't know what you're doing you're going to mess up our houses and then he has an idea like hey what if i become the chimney on one of those houses and squares like i don't know And then uh, it works out and the square is like, hey, you know what? Actually, pretty cool. Maybe we can play together. And then all the other snippets show up and they uh, they all get along great. And they end up making really fun houses that are way cooler than the houses they were making before. Check out those houses. Isn't that awesome? And so if you were making this out of paper shapes, you would layer the uh, shapes on top of each other. So if we look at this blue house here, you would start with a blue rectangle and you put the uh, purple triangle at the top. Then you would put four red squares on there and a little red snippet down here for the door. And then you put another layer. You'd cut out the, uh, the yellow plus shapes and you would put those on top of the red squares. And so you're layering them on top of each other. And that's how you can make a really cool house. And that's just one example. You could use that same method for making anything such as uh, here's a sailboat there's a rocket ship you could make anything just use basic shapes and you can put the shapes on top of each other or put uh, combine some kind of unexpected shapes together shapes that most people wouldn't think to put together and so uh, the reason i wanted to choose this book is because one i really like the message in it and also i really like how she uses only shapes and colors to make our artwork. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. So I'm gonna be showing you an example, but it's just an example. You can make whatever you want to with uh, your shapes. And I bought a bucket of shapes that we're gonna be using in class. Um, at home, you're welcome to cut shapes out of colored paper. You're welcome to uh, get some shapes like these from, um, from any hobby store or from uh, Amazon or somewhere online. Um, or you can uh, just draw shapes. If you want to just draw your artwork and then color it in using basic shapes and colors, that's fine too. So let me go ahead and show you an example and then we'll finish up. Hello friends, welcome to the Eck household. Uh, I have with me my youngest son, Remy. Say hi, Remy. Hi. He is six years old and a kindergartner and he's going to be helping me make some shape art today inspired by the book snippets that I just told you about. So I'm going to be showing you our projects from above, and I'm going to show you the supplies that we are using to make it, 
And if you don't have these supplies, you're welcome to just draw shapes or cut your own shapes out of whatever paper you have. Um, you can really make it out of any kind of paper or shapes that uh, you have access to. So let's get started. So we have our paper, we have a pile of random foam shapes, that's what my uh, in-class students are going to be using, and we have our glue sticks. So we're going to glue down these I shapes. Put it over here, so I don't have the paper. That's fine. I just put it there so the kids could see our shapes. So we have a glue stick and we've got these shapes, yeah, and we're just going sticks. to glue them down and make some art with it. You can make pictures of things, like in the book snippets, you could be making houses, or sailboats, or rocket ships, or you can come up with your own stuff. You can make a scene, like uh, several houses together, you can make a person, or you could just put together some pretty shapes in a way that you like it. Any of that is fine. So I'm going to let Remy make whatever he wants to make, I'm going to make whatever I want to make, and let's see what we come up with. Okay.
and here's our finished artwork. Uh, I made a family of dragons. This is the dad dragon, the mom, and the baby. This is the son, and the rest of this is just pretty decorations. Remy, what did you make? I made a pogo stick. Very nice job. And also, this is like a squirrel. Okay. Like, and also, this is like the wobble, this is the grass. Excellent. I like how you added the background stuff. All right, great job. Did you have fun, Remy? Yeah. Excellent. I hope you guys have fun making your shape art inspired by snippets.